guys, welcome back to Brewance's Math Club. Today's topic is ratios. So in this lesson, we will be learning what exactly a ratio is and how we can write a ratio in three different forms, okay? So as you can see, here we have a definition that says, a ratio is a comparison between two or more different quantities. That means a ratio is something that we use to compare two or more different quantities, okay? And also in our rules, we only have one rule that says a ratio can be written in three different forms. So our example is, three to four in which we're using the actual word two, okay? And then the second way we can write this is using a colon. So we'll write three colon four, but we'll also say this as the same thing as three to four, okay? And our last way we can write this is in kind of a fraction division form because we'll, it's really three divided by four, right? Which, but it's really a fraction also because three is the numerator and four is the denominator. So we could call this a fraction form because it's three over four, okay? So now let's move ahead to our problem, okay? So now let's say that a teacher has 30 pencils, okay? So that's her total amount of pencils. And now she has two students. So she has student A and she has student B. Now, she is going to give student A two pencils, okay? for every one pencil that she gives to student B. So this is where our ratio comes in because we know that student A is given two pencils for every one pencil that student B is receiving. So how can we write this as a ratio? Well, we're comparing student A to student B. So we know that student A has two pencils, okay? And student B has one pencil. Now here it says we can write this in three different forms. So the first form is using the word two so we'll write two and then the word two, one, okay? Because student B is only getting one pencil. So this ratio represents that student A is getting two pencils, whereas compared to student B, his, who is only getting one pencil, okay? Now remember, we can write this in two more forms, okay? So this is the first form. The second form is using a colon, so two and then the colon, one. And then the last form is in a fraction form, so two divided by one. Okay, so this is how we can write this. Now, what if we want to find how many pencils each of them are receiving at the end? Well, we can do this by first figuring out how many times she's going to have to give them the pencils in order to have all her 30 pencils completed, okay, completely given away. So first, we need to find out how many pencils she's giving every time. So we know that she's giving two pencils to student A and she's giving one pencil to student B. So in total, she's actually giving three pencils, right? So, sorry. Every time she is giving three pencils out, right? And now how many rounds does it take her to finish all 30 pencils? Well, we can figure this out by dividing. So we can do 30 divided by three, which we know that three goes into 30 10 times. That means she's gonna have to give the pencils out in 10 different rounds to finally have all 30 pencils given away. So now if we wanna find out how many pencils each of these students is going to receive, we can multiply so we know that student A, okay, is getting two pencils each round for 10 rounds. So that means he or she is actually getting 20 pencils, okay? Whereas student B is getting only one pencil per round for 10 rounds. So he or she is getting 10 pencils. Now we know that this is an, a reasonable answer because we know that 20 plus 10 is 30 and 30 is the total amount of pencils that the teacher has. So this is our final answer. Now we can also write this in ratio form. So we can write this as 20 to 10. And this is actually the same thing as 2 to 1 because we know that 2 times 10 is 20 and 1 times 10 is 10. So it's the same ratio, just we're using different numbers to express it, okay? So this was our first example. Now let's move on to a second example. Now our concept is still going to be the same, okay? So we still have the teacher, okay? But now instead of only giving 30 pencils, she's actually giving away 48 pencils, okay? So now she has a pen like a pencil package, let's say with 48 pencils in it. But now rather than only giving it out to two students, she actually has student A, student B, and student C. So she has three students this time. Now, she's giving student A three pencils for every two pencils that she's giving student B, but at the same time, she's also giving student C 
one pencil. So that means she's giving student A three pencils, student B two pencils, and student C one pencil, okay? So now, in order to write this in ratio form, we will write this as three, so three to two, to one. So this is our ratio for this problem. That means for every three pencils that she gives student A, she's giving student B two pencils, and she's giving student C one pencil. Now, once again, if we want to find out how many pencils in total that she is giving to all of her students and how many rounds it will take her, okay, first we have to find out how many pencils she's giving per round. So we're going to add 3 plus 2 is 5 plus 1 is 6. So total, she's actually giving 6 pencils per round, okay. So how many rounds is it going to take her? We're going to divide, so 48 pencils in total and 6 pencils per round. So 6 goes into 48 8 times. So it's taking her 8 rounds to give away all 48 pencils. So now if we want to find out how many pencils each of them is going to receive. So we know that student A, student B, and student C, okay? Student A is getting 3 pencils per round for 8 rounds. And so he or she is getting 24 pencils, okay? Student B is getting two pencils per round for eight rounds. So he or she is getting 16 pencils. And student C is getting one pencil per round for eight rounds. So he or she is only getting eight pencils. So now we know that this is also a reasonable answer because we know that 24 plus 16 plus eight equals 48 because if we go ahead and do the addition here, we know that 6 plus 4 is 10, plus 8 is 18, carry the 1. 2 plus 1 is 3, plus the 1 is 4. So 48 and 48, that means there's a total of 48 pencils. Therefore, our answer is reasonable, okay? So now I hope you guys understood this topic. So um, if you want to find extra practice problems on this topic or any other topic, please feel free to visit our website at bronesismatclub.com. And we will see you guys in our next video. Bye!